Hey guys, it's Shalay. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my journey. How are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments below. Um, as you can tell, I am going to be talking about, I don't know why I'm so happy today, but I don't know. Um, so as you can tell, I'm going to be uh, explaining how to pass anatomy and physiology and how I got A's. So if you want to know, then just keep watching. But before I get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And also comment down below if you're a new subscriber so we can be friends because I don't have any friends. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, I would say if you haven't been in anatomy and physiology yet, then you don't know the struggle yet until you get there. Um, but I would say that, okay, so usually people struggle with struggle with the lab more because it's more of like a memorization game um, as opposed to the lecture because you usually get multiple choice or like fill in the blanks or whatever. But um, anyways, you could get like, usually people, you know, basically, you don't have like a word bank or anything like that when it comes to the lab so people usually like fail in the lab um so my advice would be to um like in your lab manual you have like pictures and you have like blanks everywhere and some uh schools like do that as extra credit some schools don't even need you to like fill out that part of the manual but i would say take advantage of that manual um you know fill in the blanks try to you know like label everything you know use it as your own reference because um y those pictures in the uh, manual that's that's part of the pictures that you're going to see on your exam so really take advantage of like all the pictures in the um manual and make sure that you know them and every part of them so that's one thing also um when you're in lab, your teacher, some teachers don't really take um, interest in exactly what you're doing. They just tell you what to do. So I would say uh, take advantage of um, when you're dissecting, um, whether it's like a cat or a pig or whatever your college, you know, had has for you. Um, take advantage of it. Uh, what we do is we uh, usually take a video and then one person is like going through the um, the body and like naming everything that we need to name. Uh, we do that and then we send it to everybody. And then we also just take like regular pictures of everything. And like when we study, we just like go through the pictures and try to name it and see if, you know, see if we remember exactly like what those vessels are, what that organ is or what that gland is like we usually do that and that helps a lot because once you get into lab whatever you're dissecting that's probably what they're going to use on the exam as well yes there will be an open body whether a cat or a pig or whatever that will be sitting on the tray during your exam and you will have a pin inside a certain you know thing and you have to name what that thing is so uh, while you're practicing during class take videos take pictures like get yourself knowledgeable of what it actually looks like inside of the body because you know it doesn't that all the bodies don't look the same and also they don't really like look that much like the pictures in the book so you got to know what you know the standard looks like and what the actual looks like so don't forget that and last but not least studying for lab um just make sure you're on your p's and q's um, make sure, you know, you know what's what. Make sure, again, this is relating to a whole, like, different supportive thing. But make sure if you don't know what's what, make sure you get help. When you make your click, make sure that everybody's on board. Because, you know, just in case you forget something, you, you know, at least they know it. You know what I mean? So try to schedule, like, a study session just in case. Um, that always helps as far as, like, studying um, anatomy and physiology. And um, last but not least crash course like I said um, you can refer to my video I think it says like how I study in nursing school or something like that it's like one of my first couple of videos um, refer to that on how to basically study for a lecture most likely but 
Crash Course will help you like get a better understanding of the system, whether it's respiratory, digestive, um, the cardiovascular system, whatever it is. Um, Crash Course will help you with the lecture side. But when it comes to hands-on, um, you know, just know everything, picture it in your mind, get it together, you know, use everything you can. And also there's apps. Um, I use a Bones app. I can't remember what it's called, but look up Bones in your app and then it'll help you like, it'll like put a bone on the screen and you just like name what it is and it has like every bone it has everything and it's awesome so um i hope i helped um if there's anything else uh just don't be afraid to ask in the comments below um i'm really really good when it comes to anatomy and physiology um so don't be afraid to ask and i think that'll be it for today's video um don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up up and leave a comment down below if you're a new subscriber because I need friends. <laughs> okay, see you guys in the next video. Bye.